What are we making okay. today? So today, holiday season, right? Yes. So we're going to make gingerbread family. Yeah. Oh, family. And yes. So And we can also make gingerbread sandwiches out of these, which is really cool. If I you want to, like, take it a step up. So I it's really it. simple. So you get the mix. So you have your butter. Okay. Let me open this up. Sorry. So it's one egg. Okay. Three tablespoons, which you put one at a time, because we'll start to mix it and add it. Of uh, just room temperature water, and that's where the, the trick to baking comes in. Is you have to be precise about this. Stuff. Well, we've made it. By the way, smell this. Oh smells, my gosh, I can smells eat that really out of good. The we need bag. smell a vision. Yeah. Um, so we've tried to make it so that it's really simple because I think there's a lot of people that say I can cook but I can't bake. That's me. So right. So we tried to make it really easy. These are pretty much foolproof. Our chocolate chip cookies are literally 20 minutes into ingredients. Really? Yes. And so then we're just going to lock this. And even if you don't have a stand mixer, you can do it yourself. Okay. And then as it starts to mix, we're just going to add. A little bit more water, just until you see, and really it's just three tablespoons. And then, without boring you guys while this mixes, the magic mixer. Um, then, also, gingerbread can be kind of sticky sometimes, so we recommend putting it in a ball into a flat disc, putting it in some cellophane, putting it in the fridge so that you get sort of a better consistency of your dough. And wash your hands first. I right. swear I washed my hands before. And then just on a well-floured surface, you're going to roll out your dough just like you do. That's as easy as it gets. Right. And then take your cutters. Yum, go I ahead. love You this. can make a little gingerbread this is person. This my favorite part. Right. And of course, I did it upside down, so there you go. That's the lack of sleep and travel. I feel so, like, like look what I did. Like Right? But that's, that's the whole thing, right? Being in the kitchen is about confidence, and that's our whole thing at Foodsters, is to give you the experience back, make the memories, make it simple. We're all busy, right? How easy is this? It's so fun. Okay. Right? And it's also fun. So then without the cookie cutters, you just pop it in the oven at 350 for, I mean, really like 12 to 14 minutes. Okay. I mean, it's really simple. And you're going to get these, like, perfect gingerbread people. Um, and then we also have an all-organic frosting as well. So on our website, you can get the kits. But in the stores, you can buy the gingerbread mix. And then you get to decorate. And so one of my favorite things to do to decorate is I like to make little sandwiches out of them. Oh, boy. So I do a little bit. I almost use the frosting as a glue. Yes. Right? A little there, a little dab there. You can just you can make yours however. I could just take this in the other room and eat the whole thing. Right? You can you can also do that as well. And also, some people say frosting's too sweet, so ours doesn't. Ha it has like the right consistency because you don't want to over. Yeah. You don't want A lot of times to... it's too it's too sweet. I don't know what I'm doing. But look, you're making him pants. Yeah, that's not pants. I mean, it can it can be pants. It it, it could be. And then you give him some eyes, right? You give him. I like to give him. I was really good no, at the first part. It's good. I like it. He's got like a smirk. Like That's a... Harry. Look, my guy's got suspenders. My guy's got some suspenders going. You can do and if you really want to get creative, <laughs> here's a little trick. If you turn gingerbread men upside down, they actually become reindeers. You can literally, this is a little trick I I learned. don't see it at all. You're gonna see it in a second. Go like this. Give him the this. See, sorry, but you get the gist, right? No. See? <laughs> Look. What am I looking at? You're looking at a reindeer. I don't see. Am I the only one? I see, yeah, you're starting to see it. I didn't finish it, but you're, getting, you're starting to see the idea. It looks like a tree with two dots. But hey, I'm, I'm hey, not one to Harry, talk. Thanks for helping me convince people about my product. Um, and then you can add, you know, you can add jelly beans. Yeah. You can do, you can do whatever. And it just becomes sort of a fun. This is old peppermint pants. That's what I call him. This is, this is peppermint pants. And, hey. Can we, can, will you tell yeah. us what that is? Okay. I've had my eye on that since okay. you came out. So these are a special recipe and, uh, that I made for Harry. So getting into the holiday, I love eggnog, right? So we always say this is the family foodsters, right? And then you have to have foodsters after dark, yes, right? Like yes. what happens later? So these are, um, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to call them what I was originally calling them because I don't think your audience would appreciate sure that. Sure they would. I was calling them Harry's balls, but I, I don't think that's actually <laughs> the best name for them. So <laughs> I don't think Joe will appreciate that either. Yeah, hey, there's like one, there's one freak over there. Like, like, like. Hi, mom. <laughs> um, that's my mom. Um, yes. Okay. So these are. Oh, you just called your mom a freak. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just she was cheering. So okay. So these are <laughs> cake infused eggnog cake vodka balls. I yes. gotta try it. So they are, and you can make them with or without the alcohol if you don't want it. So oh you dip goodness. it in. Yes. And these are, yeah. Aren't these really good? Oh, so, the, the consistency of it. Yeah. So it, this is literally just you take the cake mix. Amazing. Once you finish, you make the mix. You add a little bit. I used cake vodka. You can use rum. You can use however you like your eggnog. Put a little eggnog into the mix, and then this is just a little eggnog drizzle on top, and it becomes a really nice hostess gift. It's or... gonna become a problem because <laughs> I could eat like a giant bag of these. You are so fun. I'm so proud of you and your incredible family and success. Please come back and see us and teach us more stuff. You're really, really fun. You can find these recipes at harrytv.com.
And everybody in the audience is going home with Foodsters, Brooklyn, Brownie Mix. We'll be right back. Let's get after